guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my messy desk um today i want to do a really easy little crafty video or uh it's not really a tutorial because it's so easy it doesn't really need instructions um so yeah um i'm sure you have either used guest checks for your um junk journals before or you've seen videos of people using them or you've heard of people using them this is the very first guest check i've ever used i think um i yeah i think so at least i've never bought any until last week when i went grocery shopping and um i walked to the stationary aisle and i saw like this uh, five pack at walmart and i was like I'll give it a try. I had no idea uh, whether they're going to be like uh, thin or thick paper, but they're actually really thick paper and I like the um, the quality of them. Um, I would have been happy if I could have just bought one pad, but they only had the five packs, so I bought it. It was like six or seven dollars. Um, yeah, so now I can do a lot of crafting. <clears throat> um, I thought of coffee dyeing them, but uh, so far, I haven't really, I haven't started my coffee dyeing or any uh, paper dyeing yet this year um, because I always dry my stuff outside and I also haven't really had time. So I was like, well, I could like decoupage on them or or just try using them without coffee dyeing them. And this is the first one I did. And I liked it a lot. I used... Um, collage paper from Tim Holtz and um, I went over it with my dauber and I just distress it a little bit so it doesn't necessarily have to be coffee dyed for it to look neat. Um, you could also sew around it if you wanted to but yeah so this one has the thank you on the back and has lots of writing space so you can just put this in a like a pocket instead of a tag you put the guest check in your pocket um in a junk journal and then you can journal on the back i thought that was pr pretty neat so i just wanted to come on uh film a little video because i haven't filmed in a week um so yeah i'm gonna do this and show you how i make this is super easy but first i want to show you because uh this morning i did some decoupaging i haven't decoupaged in forever so i dug out my napkins and i found this cool pheasant it's a ring-necked pheasant, um, just in case you were wondering. And I put it on a collaged um, journaling card. And I'm going to stick this in my bird in my bird journal. And then I have these two with lighthouses and ocean or, yeah, nautical stuff. Because I'm also making a nautical journal. Um, I'm working on, like, let's see... One, two, three, kind of four, five, four or five journals at the same time. So I'm just uh, doing stuff like if I like come across something uh, like seaside themed, I'll make, I use it for my nautical journal. And then if I come across something bird themed, I make it for my, I make something for my bird journal. But I think the bird journal is the one that I'm most active actively working on. And then I also found this lovely napkin that was gifted to me. Um, and I thought, hey, I can make some tags for my, um, the two Victorian junk journal covers. Um, that I'm going to turn to journals, the half the the toppers that I made on camera. So I just did these. I did these with uh, um, Mod Podge, and um, <clears throat> that actually inspired me to do the guest check with the collage paper. So um, there's a whole bunch of different ones. This one is the uh, aviary. And this one is floral. And uh, I bought like a three pack of these on Amazon. I can link those in the description below if you uh, cannot find them in the store. I also got a few um, on sale at Joanne Fabric ones. Um, but that 
yeah, that was quite a while ago. Okay, so, and then I just tore the different uh, florals, floral pieces out. Um, so I just want to do four with flowers. Okay, so what I did, I'm just going to take, oh gosh, take a couple of these off. Actually, we need four because we have four flowers. And there's a whole bunch, let's see. There is 50, 50 in one, uh, on one pad, so you get five. So that's like 250 guest checks. So that's a lot to, to craft with. Okay, um, my guess is you can probably use uh, Mod Podge to it, uh, adhere them onto the guest check, but I am just using, um, I'm just using my, glue stick so <clears throat> let's see this one i think i'm gonna put on the uh, yeah this goes on the bottom yes and here's like this perforated line um but i think this should be fine um if you glue this over it it just helps it to be more like to not tear off easily but i think it doesn't tear come off easily anyway so should be good all right, and then so what I did, I just put, ooh, gotta be careful, glue on this paper. You could probably also put glue here, but I don't know exactly where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna just carefully put glue. Am I in the frame? Yes. Carefully put glue on here. Yeah. You probably want to put something under the tissue paper or um, collage paper because you're gonna get glue <clears throat> on your table. Okay, so and I'm just gonna line this up somehow. And then we just press it down. Ugh, here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna let this dry real quick. And then we're going to trim this off, but in the meantime, we can do the other ones. Okay, so this one, I think, I want it this way. Yep. Let's see if I can find some paper that I can put under it in my phone book. Holy smokes. Megaphone. Okay. Let's just use this. Or not. This is all wrinkly. And with this um, collage paper, if you put glue stick on it, you want to go from the center to the out outer edge. Because otherwise you're going to probably tear it or get wrinkles. Okay. Like I said, it's super easy. Doesn't take a lot. Okay. I wonder who had the idea of using guest checks for junk journals. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people use them. I just never, I don't know, I just never felt like using them. But then when I saw them at Walmart, it's like, hmm, maybe I'll give it a try. And what I like about the collage paper it's transparent so you can actually see through a little bit which adds a nice effect okay got two more yellow ones this one uh, hmm. i'm gonna go this way all righty well let's see Oops. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I really love using these um, collage papers. I've also made many, many tags with them. You can just uh, make like book page collage, like oh, like this. That was my ruler. And then cut it into tags and journaling cards, and then uh, just put these images over it because you can still see the book pages through which is really pretty 
and you get your focal point. Okay. Okay. So pretty. And then you can still write up here if you wanted to. And then last one. Goes... Uh, apparently this way, because the writing is like this. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I finally um, made my cover for my ugh, bird journal. Um, but I'm gonna gonna do a separate video because I want to show you guys. I did that like uh, at like five in the morning. I this week I've been crafting super early because I'm just so dead tired after I'm done working and after my daughter goes to bed. Oh, I really like this. I can see the lines through. So pretty. Okay, and here I don't even have to trim everything anything off. Okay, so now we can we can cut this off. I can find my scissors. Yeah, my my desk is really messy today. But I just felt like doing all kinds of different crafts. I also made some tags, more tags this morning. I can show you. Oops. And if you like it this bright, like white, and then the bright colors on the front, you don't have to distress it. But I always like to make it look old and distressed, so that's why I'm gonna go over it with my um, dauber with my ink. And the reason I'm not using my distress ink anymore is because I use this also on uh for my stamping and for some reason i cannot st my stamps just won't work with my distressing pad um i just cannot get a good impression and i really like the archival ink because that also um if i like use it on like vellum and stuff it just stays it doesn't like come off okay oh we got all of them that was fast. All right. So, uh, what I do, start with this one. I just make sure, well, first of all, I go around the edges, as usual. And then I just Slight, lightly go over this. You could also use um, one of those brushes here. Hold on. That should probably work too. Yeah, I just prefer my dauber. And if you go over this, then it blends in more. But again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay. And then I did, let's see if this does anything. Yeah, so I'm not, I think the stress inks blend better with the brush, but this one is good with the dollar. So you don't have to copy dye it, but you can, or you can just leave it white. Doesn't matter. Just blend it. Okay, so we get this one. I think they're nice. And some more. Well, it is Friday evening. And this whole week, whenever my daughter went to bed, like at 6.45 or so, I went to bed right after her. And I usually fall asleep by 7 or 7.30. And holy moly, I'm not sure why I'm so tired. <laughs> Ugh. I'm finally not sick anymore, that's good. 
I'm just tired. Wonder if I have like some vitamin def deficiency or something. Oop. Did I do it here? No, I didn't. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna make you watch me uh, distress every everything here. I just wanna do this real quick. Okay. I like how this writing of the tissue paper goes right in these um on these lines from the guest check. All right. So let me distress these real quick and then I'll show you. All right. So I sewed around this one and the bobbin lasted exactly to the end. That was perfect timing. Um, yeah, so these are the checks we've made, and then I just stressed a little bit on the end, uh, on the end, on the back side, and then I wanted to show. I was going to show you um, the different papers I have, tissue uh, collage papers. This one is document. Let's see if I can show this. It's this one, and this one is called typography. This one is the travel, just the maps. And then this is what I used, florals. And the birdies. I love these the best. They're so pretty. All right, so super, super easy. And now I just wanna show you real quick what I made this morning, if I can find them. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, here they are. I made these three lovely ladies. This one, or lovely tags with lovely ladies. This one is my favorite. I love the color dress, or the dress color. And then this one. And these are going to go in my next Victorian junk journals. Yep, so... That was my crafty day, or my crafty morning, and my crafty evening, and I think it's like 7 o'clock or so, or 7.30, and it's time for bed. <laughs> so, I'm going to get this uploaded so you can watch it tomorrow, Saturday, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Um, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Bye!